Well, I think, as you guys well know, I have no stats to back up anything I'm going to say. <laughs> but um, how about our team just down the stretch and in the fourth quarter? Uh, just a tremendous job finishing out um, a team like Western Kentucky. Just shows you our growth that we've had as a team, our growth that we've had defensively. I thought down the stretch in terms of the game plan, we were just about perfect. I thought our defensive intensity never let up. Uh, we got enough rebounds that we needed to get. Uh, to be able to finish them out. And again, for, for a team like that who's won a championship, we don't let them get back in the game. You know, they, they cut it a little bit, but we never let them really get in the striking distance. And again, that just shows the growth of our team. Um, what I love watching is with every game, this team is believing in each other even more. Um, they've always played hard together. They've always cared about each other, but they are just getting to a point where they just are starting to really believe in each other and that we can do this. And uh, obviously, to beat a team we haven't been, beaten the league before is just you know uh, the, the, ne the next step for us. I mean, certainly um, we want to continue to grow, continue to get better, but we, we answered the challenge this week. I mean, to come into this week with these two teams at home, we needed to win them both. And our kids took it and went. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can say. It's a credit to them. They played their tails off. They executed the game plan. And when you do that, really special things happen. Yeah, I mean, I thank God. It was beautiful seeing the team with the same goal and we all just fighting for it because we all wanted to win at the end of the day. And it was just great. It was just so much happiness. Proud of my team, proud of myself. It was amazing. Proud of the coaches. For the thank scout. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, the, we've talked about this all year with this team, um, the growth that we needed to have. Um, I said this early in the year that we were a great team, but we didn't know how to beat people. We didn't know how to finish people, especially teams who have won the high level that Western Kentucky has won. So again, I think that this is just accumulation of the whole year, of everything that we've worked on in order to be able to beat a team like this and put them away when we needed to put them away. Now again, this, this isn't the pinnacle. This isn't, this isn't the last thing we want to do. It's a great step for our team. We have two big road games next week that are going to be just as huge. Um, you know, we're trying to position ourselves for the tournament and postseason after that. But, but again, to see us uh, learn how to put an opponent that's that good away is just a huge growth for us. I agree. I mean, this is the most energetic crowd that I can remember um, in a while, uh, quite frankly. And, um, you know, I think, number one, we appreciate everybody coming out to support this group. But I think we're really fun to watch. And I hope that, you know, people who haven't seen our team before or just catching us, um, you know, in, in re listening to the press conference or reading the stories, come out and watch this team because they're fun to watch. And, you know, Grace talked about it. At the end of every game, when we score, I mean, we celebrate, we enjoy each other. It's, it's fun to play together and it's a fun group to watch. Yeah, I mean, that's my role in the team. Um, I have to crash every single time and I just have the will to get the ball every time. I want us to get second chances for my team for us to keep scoring on the on teams because we usually make the offensive board rebound. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you. I don't know what she finished with, but I thought what we did is we made her have to make really difficult shots. And she's a, she's a great player, uh, no doubt about it, <laughs> being only a sophomore. Um, she's going to have a great career. Uh, but I thought we did a great job elevating to contest her. She made a few of those, and she missed some too. I thought we played her personnel and her tendencies really well. She gets by people great with a hesitation. Uh, she has a tendency to refuse the ball screen with kind of like a cross-back crossover. And I thought for the most part we played that well. And then I thought uh, our help did a great job getting into the gaps and kind of taking away some of those straight seam rips, drives that she lives off of. Yeah, I mean, that's a great observation. I feel the exact same way, and I've said this before about Laya. Over the last couple of weeks, she's just become completely comfortable in her role, and this team has become her team. And that's been neat to see. Uh, when you see a point guard really take control, really feel confident in what she needs to be doing, she knows who to get, to the, ball, who to get the ball when, she knows when she needs to score now. Defensively, she's become one of our best defenders. She's just playing at a very high level. And because she's playing at a high level, she's brought the play of everybody else up. And that's what a true point guard, true great point guard, really does. Um, I mean, we were just focused on getting stops because we know to win this game it had to be about all about defense because we know we're a scoring team. So we just focus on protecting the seams and helping each other no matter what. Yeah, I mean, anytime we have the opportunity to play in this type of crowd with uh, everybody coming out and wearing their pink, this might be the most pink I've seen in the stands since we've been doing this play for K game. Um, you know, we look at that as an opportunity and in women's basketball, you want to showcase your team, not just for our team, but for the game. 
because we want people to be in the stands to support women's basketball, to support, obviously, Charlotte women's basketball. And I think the people in the stands here tonight uh, hopefully really enjoyed what they saw. And like I said, we, we would love to have them back in our, our last home weekend.